a water fight on the streets of Barcelona. Some locals spraying tourists with water guns as they ate at popular restaurants, sending visitors fleeing from their tables. Thousands of protesters walking through the city over the weekend, chanting, tourists go home, and carrying signs with anti-tourist slogans. The residents of Barcelona are attacking tourists with water guns to basically make a point about how they're not welcome. That the residents of Barcelona don't want the tourists there, that they're annoyed by them. But I do think that they might be displacing their rage and I'll explain why in just a moment. Now, aside from using these little water guns to attack the tourists, the local community as you can see in this video is also taping off entrances to businesses like restaurants and other places where tourists are gathering. But again, I just wanna really reiterate that I think that they're taking their frustrations out on the wrong people. While it's true that some tourists might engage in some behavior that they should be checked on. The fact of the matter is tourism brings in a lot of money to Barcelona. So 33 million people visited Barcelona in the past five months of 2024. Tourism also brought in 9.6 billion euros in 2023 alone. So it's you know a huge source of revenue for Barcelona. But it is also important to hear the local community out and understand why they're so frustrated in the first place. So let's watch. But some locals say mass tourism is not only overwhelming the city, but also making the cost of living unaffordable to its residents. I would stress the declining quality of life for local residents, uh, and that would include uh, the increasing cost of housing, uh, the noise, uh, the litter, uh, the displacement of long-term residents, uh, and the relentless construction. Rent in Barcelona has risen nearly 70% in just the last decade, according to Mayor Jaume Colboni. In June, the Mayor announcing a plan to stop renewing permits for rentals used by foreign visitors by 2028 after saying a boom in short-term rentals is to blame. The city assuring the move would make 10,000 units available to locals in four years. So to me, it's pretty clear that the, the main point of contention here is the fact that the housing has become incredibly unaffordable due to the increase in short-term rentals. And so yeah, that should be dealt with. but. I don't really see how attacking the tourists. Thanks for watching. Our audience has helped build TYT into the media giant it is today. Together, we can accomplish anything. Support our work and join us at tyt.com slash team. I have an idea. And I don't know if uh, you know they've already thought of this and it's not practical, but it seems like it's a relatively easy fix. Uh, why don't you just charge the tourists way more taxes and fees? No, but they are. So, but no, then increase it more and more because obviously it, they're still coming. So that way you collect a lot more taxes that you could use for your own citizens to build more housing, to provide more services. And that way eventually the market will correct itself and less people will come, but they'll pay more. So you'll actually get more taxes and fees for the government. You'll have less crowds and you'll be able to serve your citizens. Just cutting off all the tourists or, you know, they're not really attacking the tourists. But what yeah. do you mean? They're squirting them in the face with water guns. No, no, I know. I know. I don't Are you mean, kidding me right now? No, no, hold on. I'm saying that they're not attacking them like violently. They're not like weirdo thugs or anything. But I was I'm gonna sorry. say, hold on, Anna. Spraying a woman in the face and hair. Okay, with us, that's violent, <laughs> that's not okay. Okay, I don't know about violent or not, but what I was gonna say is, but it's super annoying and why don't do that, right? That's obviously not the productive way to go. If I'm eating lunch somewhere and I went to your city cuz I love your city and it's beautiful and I want to appreciate it and then you you know uh, throw water on me or whatever, then you're saying, you know, we don't want you here obviously and that's their message. But that's the wrong message. I get it brothers and sisters and believe me, we live in LA. The housing prices are crazy, right? And we have a lot of the similar issues that you guys do, not necessarily because of tourism, but because all of our politicians are crooks. But there's a more productive way to do this. Everything has a downside. Look, if you do that, then less middle class people will be able to go to Barcelona. And how do you enforce it anyway? And so you could even charge more rent for non-Spanish people. You enforce it just through a passport. You had a Spanish passport, these are the rules and fees that apply, you don't have a Spanish passport, then these are the fees that apply. And I think that makes a lot of sense and probably the right way to solve this. 
but this is not productive. Yeah, so uh, the protesters listed some of their demands in a manifesto that they published over the weekend. They want restrictions on tourist accommodations, I'm guessing uh, limitations on short term rentals, fewer cruise terminals in the city's port, and an end to tourism advertisements using public money, which Look, I understand why public money is used because the whole idea is tourism brings in revenue for the city and the revenue can be helpful. But if the local community isn't benefiting from that increased revenue, then they're gonna be super bitter about it, right? If you're using public money to encourage more tourism, but the revenue from that tourism isn't used to improve the lives of the public community, well then that's gonna be an issue. So I understand their frustration there. And I agree with you wholeheartedly, attacking the tourists is not productive at all. Like I don't think that's going to solve any of the issues. It's just gonna make people real angry. Yeah, my last point here is that I mainly blame the people of Barcelona, not just now, but especially in the past. You made the city too beautiful. What are you gonna do? I went on a backpacking trip, you know, cliched one many years ago, about a quarter of a century ago. And Barcelona was easily the most beautiful city, along with Rome in my opinion. So it's a gorgeous, gorgeous city. It's it's great that the whole world wants to share it. We just gotta figure out how to share it. Just charge us more money, okay? That's a short term fix, but it'll probably get you most of what you need and the tourists will thin out. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.